minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. We have lift off. The ship has cleared the south. It was a small step for Blue Origin, but a big step for mankind. At 9 a.m. sharp on July 20th, the privately funded aerospace manufacturer launched its first passenger space flight. Oakville resident and retired astronaut Dr. Dave Williams watched the launch and says it was absolutely spectacular. And you know, things have totally changed. 52 years ago, I remember as a kid watching Apollo 11, uh, the astronauts landing on the surface of the moon, walking on the moon. Now I'm watching on the internet the first commercial space flight going beyond the Kármán line. Absolutely incredible. It was an amazing experience. Oh, wow, wow, wow. We just can't do it. We have to look out the window. Holy kid, God. You can hear the excitement in the New Shepard spacecraft during the 10 minute and 20 second flight. The four passengers included the founder of Blue Origin and Amazon, Jeff Bezos, his brother and two others. And now that space tourism has officially kicked off, Williams says it's the dawn of a new era. Making low Earth orbit accessible, the dawn of commercial space travel. And over the next 50 to 100 years, it's going to become more accessible. It'll be cheaper to be able to fly into space. It's absolutely incredible. And Wally Funk flying in space at age 82, now the oldest person to fly in space. I was there for Senator Glenn's flight at age 76. And Oliver Damon, the youngest person to fly in space, truly a historic mission. Blue Origin has two more flights scheduled this year, and if you're interested in getting into this spacecraft yourself, they have also announced reservations are now open for future flights. So what does this mean now that the private sector has entered into space exploration? Williams says it means visionary leadership. We're making space accessible, and over the next uh, 15 to 20 years, we're going to see humans going back to the moon. Those will be government missions, but in parallel, you're going to see commercial missions, perhaps to the moon, perhaps onto Mars. It's going to be really exciting watching how the two groups go forward and explore space, synergistically learning from each other, collaborating with one another for the betterment of mankind. The betterment of mankind that could take us to more places among the stars. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria. Humans are a spacefaring species. Over the next 100, 500,000 years, we're gonna see humans traveling farther in space, living in habitats and other planets in our solar system. When we go to space, we develop a totally different perspective of our, of our planet. There's no borders we can see between countries from space. We realize we're all in this together, and I think that's one of the important messages of human spaceflight, the importance of global collaboration.